my friends. Here we are on another cheap ass beer review with Dr. Dave. Fabulous indeed. Just remember, because it's a cheap ass beer, doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad beer, bad tasting, undrinkable. No, it just means you didn't pay a lot of money for it. And we have one here today that fits the bill. No doubt about it. Yeah, ooh wee. It's uh, from the Heilman's Brewing Company, located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's the Old Style Lager Original Recipe. I believe this is 4% alcohol by volume. The date stamp on the bottom says we have about another month to enjoy it. So let's do that. Now, I tell you what, I used to live in Chicago for a very brief period of time. And when I was there... This was a really decent beer on tap, and you can't go too far in Chicago and not see this beer. Now, for the occasion, we have Dr. Dave's cheap-ass beer glassware, freshly washed and rinsed, no doubt. I did the design. Yeah, I made that whole thing myself. Not that big of a deal, but it is for me. <laughs> oh, look at that beer pouring out. Oh, my goodness. A 16-ounce can. Now it was a six-pack. Wait till you hear how much it was. Really makes this a cheap-ass beer. Six 16-ounce cans. Keep that in mind. Beautiful, clear golden color. Man, that beer is clear. Look at that thing. Woo! Nice, lively carbonation. Bright white uh, foam there. Nice head on the beer. Mm-hmm. Now, I didn't do a lot of research on this beer because... My internet service I turned off over there, and there's no internet service on this machine, so I didn't do any research. But I will put all the description data in the uh, in the box below. And as always, if you really want to know something about a macro lager beer, visit my friend Jay Terrio's website, it's Louisiana Beer Reviews, and. Um, He's an expert on macro lagers. He really is. Yeah, he's a good guy. Check out his uh, webpage anyway. He's a decent guy. Uh, been talking to Jay for at least 10 years on social media. He's a decent guy. Check him out. Tell him Dr. Dave sent you. Yeah, look at the carbonation. Mm, I'm getting some grains, some maltiness in the beer, a little bit of sweetness in there. I don't remember any specifics about this beer. I just remember it's, it's 4% or maybe 4.2%. But uh, it's a decent beer to drink when you're out with a group of people. It's, it's not offensive at all, and it goes down pretty easy. So I'm going to thank the brewers. I'm fairly certain that this may have a license from Pabst. I'm not 100% certain. If it doesn't, I'll correct myself in the description box. Cheers to all the brewers that made this beer happen. Cheers to you at home. Oh, that's pretty decent. Oh, that's that's pretty darn good. Yeah, that's really light-bodied, smooth, easy drinking. It's got a clean, crisp finish on it, too. It's, uh, it's surprising me. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember it tasting this good. Yeah, I don't. Of course, excuse me. Man, these allergies are, are really killing me today. Um, it's been a long time ago when I drank this beer, too. I like this. This is pretty darn good. Just pretty darn good. Light bodied, light mouthfeel. It has sweetness in the aroma, but not in the taste. I don't taste any sweetness in here. I get mostly sweet sweetness from the malt, but it's not a uh, sugar, sugary sweetness, man, because I've had plenty of beer in my time where it's, oh, my God, what is that beer? Why is it so sweet? And I push it away, baby. Yeah. got a slightly dry finish to it. Eh, very inoffensive. This this beer wouldn't offend anybody. Anybody could drink this beer and say, yeah, you know what? That's, that's not bad. I like it. 
And uh, for me to say that takes quite a bit because I drink a lot of craft beer. I'm not a craft beer snob by any stretch of the imagination. But I know good beer when I taste it, and I know crap beer when I taste it. This is not crap beer. It's not craft either. It's somewhere in the middle. But it's good enough that you can drink it and have a good time with it. Now, let me get to the price because you're not going to believe this. 16-ounce can came in a six-pack was $7.29. Let me repeat that. <laughs> Six 16-ounce cans for $7.29. So, you always take the money and you divide it by the number of units. Now, that comes out to, uh, if you round it, that's $1.22, right? <clears throat> but you have to remember this is a 16-ounce can. So, if you do the math, if you do the math, because uh, a six 12-ounce cans would be 72 ounces, right? All right. But you're getting, what, uh, 16 times 6? So you're getting 96 ounces here, right? So you're getting essentially an extra two cans of beer. You understand? Yeah, because uh, can, cans are still measured. Cans and bottles are still measured in 12 ounces, even though we have these 16 ounces. And if you get them some places, you can get 20 ounces. It depends on the brewery. But still, 12 ounces is the standard measure, at least here in the United States. Okay, so with all that said, you're really getting an 8-pack. So let's do it with 8-pack. All right, let's do it with 8-pack. So, you had the seven dollars and twenty nine cents, and you're going to divide it by eight this time. That comes out to ninety one cents, and that's what makes this a cheap ass beer. I tell you what, I'm going to have to give this a uh, five star rating because I can't find any flaws in this beer. It's easy to drink, and it goes down smooth, and it's a smooth, easy drinking, clean, crisp finish. What else do you want from a beer? And it's cheap. Yeah, I can't I can't find anything wrong with that beer. And um, like I said, I'm going to do some more research on it before I post it. And I'll let you know the skinny on it. And uh, that's the story, baby. It's a cheap-ass beer, but it's well worth trying if you've never had it. Mm. Our area here used to get this in uh, six 12-ounce bottles, but I don't see the bottles anymore. I just see the cans, which is better because cans keep the beer fresher longer. All right, my friends, let me run out of here. Drink whatever you like, though. Life is too short to worry about who drinks what. <laughs> Life is way too short for that. Until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers.